I already know what you need, my dog, and I got you. You clicked on the video because you need a center bill that can not only not, not only can hoop in the park, but can also get butt ass naked in the wreck. That's what you need. They're making us play wreck if you want to play, if you want to get the legend. So you might as well have a center bill that can do it because center's going to get you the most points if you are not a lead dog point guard. That's what's going to get you the most rep. That's what's going to get you the most points. It's going to get you the most second hand chance shots. All that good stuff. So I'm going to give you a center that can not only hold his own out there in the park, but you can go to the wreck and, and really hold your own. If not dominate, you're going to be able to do it all, man. Well, not really do it all, because if anybody tell you that a bill can do it all, you tell them hard eight times, told them, shut the f up. Shut the f up. There's no bill in this game that can do everything. You will have some deficiencies in your bill, no matter what it is you choose. But this one is going to have the ones that you expected to have. Not, not, not so many that you can't play, but it's going to be, it's just going to be, it's going to make the most sense when we uh when we do it so if y'all do nothing else man make sure y'all like the video because every time y'all like the video it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100k and also you're entered for a chance to win 50 dollars in vc this coming friday so you just gotta like the video comment on the video and you automatically gonna be entered now what i will tell you is this we gave away two already this week um i don't know if this video coming is coming out before or after we did it but we gave a hundred dollars away this week Next week, we're giving away 50 bucks. But if every video makes it to 10,000 views, we're gonna give away 100 again, man, because that's how we do, man. But like I said, every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to the also oh coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now, look, man, uh, you already see what it is, man. Gamecocks in the background, man. Uh, uh, you know, you know, that's where I went to, University of South Carolina. But anyway, uh, Jay Easy, center. Right-handed is what I do. You can do whatever you want to. Uh, jersey number zero, that's just what I choose because that's what I choose. Now, 6'9", um, weight 218. Reason I'm going 218 because I want to hit certain thresholds. If I come down, uh, I don't want to do it. It's just there's certain thresholds that I want to hit. Uh, if I come down, it's going to change it up some. Uh, the wingspan, 7'7". Seven, seven. I think that's max wingspan for this guy. But what that's going to do is give you the amount of interior and the amount of uh, rebounding and stuff that you're going to want, man. Now, like I said, all of these things can be adjusted to your liking. I know somebody's going to feel like for some reason, they're going to need more ball handling with the center than, than you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know somebody's going to feel like that, bro. So, you know, it just is what it is. I'm put myself back over here now because uh, y'all can see all of that good stuff right now. Bam. All right, so check it out. I know somebody's going to feel like they need more something with a center, more ball handling with a center. I do not know why. Close shot is 50. You just want to have enough close shot. So when you pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, you can put it in and they're gonna jump and they're gonna clear out the way. Driving layup, I put it, I just put it there just because they wanted us to. I don't really care about driving layup because these are what's really gonna get get it done. This driving dunk and the driving uh and the standing dunk. Now, you can adjust some things if you want the 84, uh, so you can get the posterizer, the big man contact stuff like that. I think that's what you gotta have it on. Um, but the main thing I wanted to do here is get limitless takeoff on silver. Uh, you know, I know silver gets it done good enough. Brute got it on silver, and uh, that's that's good enough. Posterizer, um, if you want an 85 driving dunk and you want to manipulate these joints to get there, uh, you can do that. And then with the standing dunk, if you want to go to 90, I don't, I don't, I don't think you need it because I, I, I've seen people get it done with 80 on the standing dunk and the driving dunk. And uh, like I said, as a center, you're going to be fine, especially since you can get limitless takeoff uh, with that. So post control, I mean, do, do anybody really do post post moves? I don't think anybody does. I think everybody's going to pump fake and then go up. But you want to have it. Like I said, the main thing is I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I see Gamut get up and get on that rim, man. And, uh, you know, like you go, the standing dunk is important because sometimes you don't want to just, just drive and dunk it or you don't want to lay it up you want to make sure that he's going to stand and dunk that thing mid-range you can call this dude mr 80 man because a lot of the stuff we put it at 80 mid-range we put it at 80 um and the three-point shot we put it at 80 that's all you really need if you want it to go higher on the three-point shot i mean i think it i want to say it maxes out at 82 you could do that but like you, you can get green machine and you can get dead eye we have decided that dead eye in this game is like i mean it just is what it is so you don't um you gotta green the shots anyway man 
So I, I don't think dead eye is all that important, especially when you're a center. You shouldn't be taking shots with somebody in your face anyway. I think getting the gold clay more and uh, getting gold clay more, getting your catch and shoot up, uh, you know, stuff like that is far more important. Now you can see that you need an 81 three ball. If you want to get the uh, you know catch and shoot on go, you can drop this down one and put it like that if you want to. I don't think that's gonna hurt literally you know literally anything you could do that if you feel like you want to have the gold um catch and shoot i don't think you need it i think you can be just fine like this you know but if, if you just want to do it like that then you know do your thing like that and then what limitless range you can get you can get limitless range on silver but you got to have an 85 three ball so I mean, that's just not really going to be feasible, not really going to happen. But let's just say you do it like this. This will probably give you the best, your best thing. But I, I think you can get by with silver. Um, I think the shooting badges are overrated. I don't even know if they really do anything, to be honest with you. I, say, I got some people that say they don't, that some shooting badges feel like they don't even do nothing. It's you being able to time your custom is way more important. So, you know, it is what it is. Free throw. I just, I just put free throws on what was left, man. Um, 72, so that was good. Uh, pass accuracy, you wanna have at least 65 pass accuracy so you're not throwing ducks out there every time. Put it on 70. Um, if you want to, I'm gonna show you something that you can do, but we're gonna do it at the end and, and I'll show you what you can do. Ball handling, you can really put this on anything you want to. I know some of y'all be like, man, I can't have a build with no ball handling in it and all of that. So if you wanna drop down the pass accuracy, put up speed with ball or, or take down the ball handling because you're a center like me and I feel like I could get by with 50 ball handling or something like that, be my guest. You might wanna put it on interior defense or something. Interior defense, 90. If you can't stop them with 90, you're not gonna stop them with 99. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. You probably could, but you know, perimeter defense, I put my perimeter defense up to um up to 80. Now what you can do is perimeter defense on 86. If you can find a way to get it to 86, you can you could probably you could get uh ankle braces on Hall of Fame, but honestly, I feel like the only time you're going to even really be using your your perimeter defense is when you switch. If you're in the wreck, you're probably never gonna use it at all. This is only really for the park centers uh, where you're gonna have to switch on to a guard and be able to hold him and, and hope that he don't break your ankles every single time. So that's why you're gonna want your ankle braces. Uh, still, now, if you feel like you don't need that that much, what you can do is you can drop this down a couple of notches or whatever. You drop, drop some down a couple of notches, man. I mean, what was it? Uh, ball handling, I think you can drop down a couple of notches. And then you can do this right here. And then you can then you'll be able to put your steel on 85. Uh, so you can go 65, 65. Then you can get 85. The, the significance of an 85 steel is that you get uh, where's glove? Glove, glove on go on silver is an 85 steel. So that's the significance of that. So you take it down. You can't get glove on that. You you do it. But I feel like 80 will get you by. But if you want that glove on silver, which a lot of people seem to be, that's where you get the, that's why you start unlocking the crazier animations. Uh, you know, that's where you do block. I put it on 99 because you want anchor, or at least I want anchor on, uh, I want anchor on Hall of Fame, just so I can be able to stand there and get those challenges off like that. Uh, challenge, I think you gotta have, what's your perimeter? You gotta have 86 to get it on gold. We're not, we're not even looking to go that high, so boom you want it on 99 the only thing you're gonna lose if you feel like you can you can live without anchor and pogo on hall of fame drop it down by all means but i say just eh, put it on 99 man it ain't gonna hurt nobody that's what i think now offensive rebounding put it on 80 if you feel like you need more offensive rebounding i feel like on offensive rebounding you got the dude boxed out and you're in great position you, he daily gonna give it to you or not so i don't think you need much more than 80 and then defensive rebounding um that's what we got at 95 because anything, I think anything, what, less than 95, so you, you'll lose your box. I feel like box is going to be a little bit more important than rebound chaser, and you got to have 99 rebounding to get rebound chaser on Hall of Fame, and I know you don't want to waste them extra stats. And then the speed and stuff, speed, 81. So when you get to these are set up, so when you get your plus fours, they'll be maxed out. So you get your plus four, it's going to be 85 speed. Uh, acceleration, 76. You get your plus four, it's going to be 80 acceleration strength. 76, you get your uh, plus four, it's going to be 80 strength. You see what I'm saying? Vertical, 71. You get it, it's going to be 75. And then, you know, uh, stamina is 95. When you get it, it'll be 99. So I think that's a dope, uh, dope little setup. I promise you, you can be accurate enough from three with the 83 ball. Now, you can bring the arms in. 
and probably put the weight up and that's gonna give you just as much interior defense rebounding and all that good stuff and you can get them to an 85 three but i feel like this is this is what you need right here um to be able to be comfortable in the rec playing center and also be out there in the park playing center mainly for the park but this can also get it done in the rec too uh you're gonna want you're gonna want paint intimidation and stuff blocks for your for your takeovers pain intimidation is when you can do that stuff what gamut does sometimes you see people drive to the lane uh against him and he'll just he just put them in the sleeper hole and they don't call foul and stuff so that's what you do with that and um you know stuff blocks is just help you block the ball better uh, when they come in and when you put it all together put it all together and see what you got ding dong hot dog hey there we go we got the boy 96 oh we got Marcus Camby, you got Bam Adebayo, and most importantly, you got Anthony Davis. You got a two-way stretch glass cleaner. Now, Anthony Davis, like I said, you gonna got you got Anthony Davis minus the injuries. Uh, you got a 99 in resistance to injuries, so you know you're gonna be good with that, man. And like I said, this build right here is gonna be tough. You can use the jump shots that I gave the, the James Harden and all that. You can use it because he's 6'9", and uh, you got the 83 ball, man, and you should be good to go but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section about the bill man i think it's a dope bill um you will be seeing it out there on, on in the 2k streets pretty soon and uh if you're making a bill this is a great starting place and you can just just start with this and if you feel like you need some other stuff just augment a few of the settings on the guy and it'll make it be perfect for you man this is perfect for me I don't know if it's perfect for you. Some of y'all like to get busy with the rock. I don't. I just want to not get a ball up on it. I just need enough to get vice grip and stuff like that, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to have to tell next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.